What's going on DMG clan? Today I'm going to show you how to set up Twilight Menu. We got a new update on your smart update R4 card that loads Deep Labyrinth and either says .hk or .cn on the front and looks like either one of these cards. If your card doesn't load Deep Labyrinth, be sure to check out the playlist linked below because maybe I have a guide just for you. So let's get into this. So like I said in the intro of this video, these two R4 cards are the R4 cards that we're going to be using for this smart update guide that allows you to load Twilight Menu. Again, if you didn't pay attention to the intro of the video, then make sure you pay attention to that because there are other R4 cards that kind of look like this one, but they're not this card, okay? Very important. Go check out my playlist. Make sure you check that out. Make sure you check out everything in the playlist to make sure that I don't have a guide for your card. If I don't have a guide for your card, I'm sorry. I don't own every single R4 card out there. It's 2025. I highly recommend you to buy one of these two R4 cards. So if you're ready, then if you don't want to watch Watch this entire video you could just become a member on patreon or on youtube and download the pack that i compiled which will also skip all of these steps and just allow you to unzip the file and basically copy it to the root of your sd card if people don't like that then understand that databases cost money and this is actually a big hack so if you want to support the channel for all the work that i've done to put this together then either become a member or watch the entire video to learn something new today because Twilight Menu has changed recently and it has a brand new update. Now, if you're ready, let's grab ourselves an SD card. Now, I highly recommend you just to get a 32 gigabyte micro SD card as well. Anything above that is very much not needed. You know why? No, the R4 card does not allow you to play 3DS ROMs. A lot of people get that mistaken because it says something about 3DS on it. So with all that out of the way, let's jump over to the computer. I put all the files and the websites in the description of this video. The very first thing you're gonna do is navigate to this website, which is the Twilight Menu website, and you're gonna download the latest Twilight Menu flashcard dot 7z file right here okay so download this one i already have it downloaded in my downloads folder as you can see here right here there's the zip file now you're going to navigate to this website and you're going to scroll down until you see twilight menu add-on virtual console dot 7z download that as well i already have this downloaded just to save on time which is add-on dot virtual console and then if you want cheats you're going to also download this user cheat dot dat file so you have to right click on it and then click download standard download and as you can see here I already have this file as well. Now inside of your downloads directory, right click on Twilight Menu and click Extract All. Another dialog window is going to pop up. Click Extract. As you can see here, it's 100 megabytes just for Twilight Menu. Not supplying that. It's a lot of data for people to just use my database for free if you don't want to become a member. Add on Virtual Console, right click on that, click Extract All. Same thing. There we go. Now we have our user cheat right here, which is great. The first three files that we're going to want to grab are going to be shown in the next section. Now, plug in your micro SD card into your computer, and then you're going to right click on your micro SD card, which is this one, USB drive F, and click format. Make sure you select the allocation size to be 32 kilobytes. Don't go any higher, don't go any lower. If you have an R4 or an SD card that is bigger than 32 gigabytes, you can watch my video linked below that teaches you how to format SD cards that are larger than 32 gigabytes. I highly recommend you just to get a 32 gigabyte card. Once again, no purpose of getting anything bigger, but if that's all you have, then you can watch that video linked below and basically just follow that guide. Now click start, now click okay, and wait for that to format. Now that this is formatted, click okay, now click close and the files that we're going to grab. You're gonna grab the boot.nds, the snemule, the underscore.nds, and the ROMs folder. Now right click on it and click copy. Navigate to your SD card. So go to the SD card that we just formatted. Mine is the USB drive F, paste it right there. Now very important, Rocket Rob still hasn't listened to this. I've told this person this multiple times. You need to open up this config file. So you can right click on it and you can, oh, you should be able to open it with your notepad, but if you don't have the option to do that, like you see here, edit a notepad, then basically you can open it by changing it to a .txt file. But right here, you need to change the ROM path to ROMs forward slash .snes. Go to file, go to save as, and then you're going to save it as all files, and that's gonna be on the SD card dot config file. Click save, click yes. Now, that's because when you go into the dot NDS ROMs folder, 
it's supposed to grab it from the SNES folder. But anyways, let's go back out. Now go back to your downloads directory and inside of your add-ons, grab these two folders right here, right click on them and click copy and now paste them right here. Now we should have the ROMs and we should have the underscore.nds. Now go into the underscore.nds, go to Twilight menu, go to extras and go grab that user cheat from your downloads folder, which is right here and paste it right here. Now go back to the root directory of your USB drive or your SD card, which is the underscore NDS, ROMs, boot.nds, snemule config. Go to your downloads, navigate back into Twilight menu. Now this is for those that want to auto boot into Twilight menu, which I highly recommend you to do on a DS Fat and a DS Lite because there's a bug where it doesn't want to utilize the NDS bootstrap. I noticed that if you don't auto boot into it, it sometimes glitches out and doesn't work properly. So auto boot just basically allows you to auto boot into Twilight menu when you press on the actual uh, icon, which is Deep Labyrinth. So go to Ace 3DS Plus, grab these two files right here, and right click and copy go back to your usb drive paste them at the root directory now for the kernel method so there's a flash cart loader method which allows you to basically use your actual flash cart kernel you're going to go to the r4i ls and you're going to grab these two files right here right click copy go to your root directory and paste it right here just copy your games so for nds files you're going to copy your ROMs right to this directory and your saves into the saves folder. So I have saves and ROMs on my external drive. So I'm gonna to go to my emulation, ROMs, NDS, and I'm just gonna use new Super Mario Bros. The reason why, easiest game to get into. And my emulation, saves, I have saves for NDS as well. As you can see here, new Super Mario Bros. SAV and go into your saves folder and paste it right there. And then for all your other ROMs and everything, just paste them into the emulated folder. So GBA is for Game Boy Advance, GB for GB, so on and so forth. Game Gear, there's Genesis. There's a whole bunch of stuff, okay? Now for Genesis, you have to rename the file to .gen, not bin. So if your file is a bin file, then make sure you place it as a bit or gen file. And that is it. Now we can go over to the device. Okay, I'm just gonna grab one of these two R4 cards and I'm going to plug it in. I guess not that one, that one already has a SD card in it. And as you can see here, I'm loaded into Deep Labyrinth. And if you don't see Deep Labyrinth, you see something else, then you didn't pay attention to the intro of the video once again. Now press A. To get into the game and in here i'm going to select gui system and i'm going to select my region as usa all right now let's go to roms folder we're going to navigate over to nds for now and you're going to highlight over top of your game now press the y button this is going to bring up a menu now this is going to give you options for the game loader which is either kernel or bootstrap now if you select kernel this is not going to allow you to navigate outside of the games where bootstrap allows you to do so also bootstrap sometimes doesn't load certain games i guess they have a list somewhere i've never found it but they say they have a list of games that it doesn't load but you can maybe go search that and let me know otherwise i just leave it at default for cheats you're gonna have to press x Click on must be on for this game. Some games only require this, not all of them. Um, you can change things like game enhancer, skip intro, press B, option codes, unlock all worlds, all that kind of stuff. Now there's also an option for info. So if you press Y, it'll tell you how to unlock the all worlds. Now, not all cheats have that, or yeah, all cheats have this, but this one's telling you, hey, this will basically press start and select. It'll allow you to unlock all worlds. There's a whole bunch of different things. Now, if you want the cheats to save and actually be used, press the X button and it'll save them. Now, for the very first time, it's gonna take a couple seconds to load this, so press A on the game and just let it load. And as you can see here, we are inside of our game. Now, my 3DS that I'm using to actually record this with actually has widescreen patches turned on right now, so yours might not look like this, obviously, but that's how mine looks. And there's my save file as well. So my save file is right there. Now, if I go to a new game, I can actually see if the cheats are working because it skipped the intro, as you can see here. And also, if I follow the prompts and press start and select, I just unlocked all the worlds and I can go to any world that I want by using that cheat. Maybe you don't want to play worlds one through four or something. So that's about it, guys. The other thing that I want to let you know is that if you press L down and select, it'll bring up a menu for NDS bootstrap and you can quit the game and then navigate to the nether game. Sometimes this bugs out as well. I'm going to tell you that sometimes you'll get a white screen. Sometimes it might just freeze like it just did and not actually quit the game. Oh, my, maybe I didn't press A. There we go. <laughs> 
Uh, usually on the DS and DS Lite is where I notice the issues like this, but it might even happen on a 3DS. I don't know. It didn't happen this time, which is great, but that sometimes does bug out as well and just shut down the device and turn it back on. Otherwise, enjoy playing with Twilight Menu on your R4 card, your Smart Update R4 card, and make sure to check out my playlist. <laughs>